All right, we are continuing with our language review. This is week 12, Wednesday. Number one, it says, choose a connotation that best fits the sentence. Remember, connotation has to do with the feelings that are associated with the word. Um, so it was clear by looking at the skinny or slender puppy that it was very underfed. So the meaning or the feeling that we're trying to get across is negative. So the word that we would use for this particular sentence would be skinny. Number two, identify the correct figure of speech and write the meaning on the lines below. The gently lapping waves called me to the ocean. So right here where it says waves called me, um, that is giving a non-human thing, human-like characteristics. Um, so, whoops, personification is the figure of speech that is being used. Um, the sound of the waves is appealing to this person, inviting him or her to go swim. That's the meaning of that figure of speech. So the sound of the waves is appealing to this person, inviting him or her to come swim. So again, giving a non-human item human-like characteristics, which in this case is to call somebody. All right, number three, sort the words demand and request based on their connotation. So their denotation or their dictionary definition is to ask of someone. Um, they both have the same denotation, but their connotation, one is positive, one is negative. So when you request something, that would be a positive connotation, making demand a negative connotation. Number four, what word related to the Greek or Latin root or affix is defined below? So we have to use desi as part of the word. And the actual definition is one-tenth of a meter. So our word that we're trying to figure out is decimeter. Number five, choose a synonym for peril. Okay, so again, synonym means that it's going to be the, mean the same thing as the word that is um, shown, which is peril. So we have danger, drastic, frugal, and safety. So the def, the word that ha is the synonym for peril would be danger. All right, we're all done for Wednesday.